so I want to say a few things about staying positive um, because we're heading into an election. Um, you know, the outcome might not be the outcome that you want. It might not be the outcome that you desire. Uh, you know, it's, it's easy to become super depressed about these things. Um, I, I, let, let's be clear. I think at the end of the day, what, what determines a culture and what determines the direction is our ideas, what determines, uh, the culture is, um, is, uh, is philosophy, is, is the philosophy and the culture. And that is not good. The state of ideas in our culture, the state of philosophy in our culture, uh, is, is not good. And therefore the culture is slowly sinking and slowly deteriorating. And this election, that election is not going to change that much. Uh, politics flows from culture, not the other way around. Politics can have a small impact on culture, but not a dramatic, like, like I think Trump had, like I think Obama to some extent had, but it's not overwhelming. Like I think George Bush had, I think all three of those presidents accelerated the downward trend culturally. But the culture was already heading in that direction. They didn't reverse anything. They didn't fundamentally change anything. And neither did Reagan, even though he, would, he did some good things. The, the ideas, the culture was still heading in the wrong direction and continued to do so once the energy and the, the momentum behind his ideas faded. Now, so that's... Um, so the key is, at the end of the day, the culture, not politics. What happens tomorrow is going to have an impact, but it's not going to have a earth-shattering impact, no matter who wins and who loses. It's going to have an impact at the margins. It's going to have an impact on the way elections evolve in the next few years. It's going to have an impact, as I talked yesterday, about the potential for political violence, uh, for constitutional crises, for... This, the courts having to get involved for a lot of different things, for our economy, certainly for our economy. If Democrats win big tomorrow or win at all tomorrow, then you can expect much more economic problems down the road. Uh, it's going to have an impact on many concretes that happen in a culture. But the direction of the culture is being determined by the fundamental, ide fundamental ideas that are reflected in the way people vote, but are much more fundamental than that. So first, don't take it that seriously. The battle is not fought at the political ballot box. The battle is fought in the culture. The battle is fought on the field of ideas. The battle is fundamentally ideological. And that's where we need to focus our efforts. We need to focus our efforts on changing the culture. We need to focus our efforts on changing the way think, people think about morality, changing the way people think about reason, changing the way people think ultimately about religion. That's where we win or lose. And if we lose there, it doesn't matter what happens in the ballot box. We lose. It doesn't matter whether the left or right win. We lose. Authoritarian can come, authoritarianism can come from any direction on a political map, if that's the direction the culture is heading, if, that's the, if, if the culture is becoming more mindless and more altruistic and more authoritarian in its nature, more tribal, then we will get authoritarianism no matter what. So the only hope we have is by working, by doing the hard work that is required to make the culture change, and that requires debate, discussion, argumentation. It requires exposing people to ideas. It requires getting people to read Ayn Rand. It requires challenging them. And encouraging them to think, to become thinkers, to be thinkers, to elevate themselves to that level. We've got a debate. Got to debate, 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 debate with everybody out there, or well, pretty much everybody. Certain people are not worthy of debate, but almost everybody. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. 
If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.